The United Nations report confirms ocean levels are rising faster than ever observed. Scientists say this is putting our coastal communities at risk. The 20 largest cities in the world, 16 of them are coastal cities, okay? The number is something like 500 million people live within a zone that was going to be subject to increased seasonal risk. And by seasonal risk, Dr. Steve Lund means flooding and possible Category 5 hurricanes like Dorian this past month. The UN report also says oceans are getting warmer, more acidic, and lower in oxygen. A USC professor of biological sciences says this is decimating fish populations and ecosystems like coral reefs and kelp forests. And that's going to keep going even if we stop making CO2. That stuff, that CO2 is already out there. That's done. We're already warmer. And the question is, how much warmer are we going to get? A USC PhD student says the time for action is now. When we talk about climate change, people don't often think of the ocean, but the ocean is actually like bearing the biggest burden of climate change. Hope is not part of the conversation, at least for me anymore. We just have to start doing something. So we can minimize the risk. We can't stop it. I mean, we, if we could stop global warming, fine, yes, absolutely, high priority. But if we can't, we can do things about coastal communities to make them more prepared for a rising sea level. Yeah, we're going to have to adapt to a, a big change in the way the Earth uh, supports our species. The report warns that more dramatic changes could be in store. For Annenberg Media, I'm Evan Falstrup.